Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Johnson Powers by now. I was reading through the documentation on the Envira Gallery website and I discovered that you can create your own little plugin extension for Envira Gallery to get it to work with page builders for displaying Envira Galleries in tabs like this. So I've created two individual galleries. I have one displaying in one tab and then the next one in another tab. It looks pretty nice now, you know. And then I have different configurations on the galleries. So the light box opens there and you have your nice film strip at the bottom. You can turn the film strip on and off as well. And there really is a mountain of uh, configuration options in Envira Gallery. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do lots more videos on Envira. Some of the stuff can be tricky to configure the likes of the Lightroom add-on and WooCommerce and stuff linking up the products and doing variables and all so I'm going to cover that in future videos so to create our plugin there's the Enviro Gallery website they actually have a 10% sale at the moment and to get all the features you need to spend $99 you don't really get that much at the bottom tier so you know so their support is very good as well actually I'm often speaking to them with fast turnaround and everything they're they're very good and they're still doing the lifetime as well great value for 300 bucks priority support lifetime updates you know so to find out how to do this on the Envira Gallery website from the home page go right down to the bottom right into documentation functionality and at the bottom of that using Enviro Galleries and Page Builder tabbed content. They're supporting different page builders, Visual Composer, Beaver Builder, Elevator. And so we want our code here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into my code editor. I'm using Sublime Text there. And just paste it in. And I've already saved it to the desktop and I called it Enviro tabbed content zip. So that's my plugin created and saved to the desktop and I've already uploaded it as you would just a normal plugin. So we're going to create a new page now for our tabs. Testing, publish, and then start our page builder and tabs is do 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 it's under layout edit item gallery one and it's really simple we'll just go back and copy our short code from one gallery And just paste it in save it create another gallery two go down and take the short code from that paste it in save it save the whole thing and done, publish. Just refresh our page there. And there we have it. In gallery two. If you notice they're loading differently there, that as I was saying, when you go into your, to edit your gallery, There's a mountain of different configurations here. Um, you have your tabs here for different things, for your light box, mobile, standalone gallery, social, Pinterest, downloads add-on. To show the EXIF data, uh, that's the technical 
specifications of when a photograph was taken the aperture and shutter speed you can automatically get that it's recorded in the data uh, in the photograph and this add-on will automatically display that information in the corner wherever you choose on your photograph you have pagination which is great so you won't have loads of images on the one page printing proofing a schedule you can get galleries to display just at certain times slideshow social add-on tags sort by tags that's really handy in the media library videos for youtube vimeo watermarking woocommerce and zoom and some miscellaneous stuff and uh, so when you go into config there you have things like number of columns lazy loading They've really thought of everything and there's, I was talking to them in support there recently and there's more add-ons coming out soon as well that aired that aired for better search in the galleries and stuff like that and you have different teams here for your, for your uh, galleries and your light box and stuff so you know so that's it anyway folks don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch out for more Envira videos thanks very much bye for now